FC. And for Lam Ti Pung, he is going to be on Ho Chi Minh City FC. So it's game on, man. Let's see what do they have and who's going to go back home. Yes, and also, guys, uh, I know after this, I just want to remind you that we still have our lucky draw to give away. How do you want to win the lucky draw? Simple. First, you like and follow Champions eFootball on Facebook, Instagram, on YouTube. Tag your friends uh, in the comment, in the giveaway comment on Facebook. And then also share the post and also have the hashtag Hashtag Champions E Football. So I believe uh, the red battleship will be Ho Chi Minh City. Will attacking from left to right, and while the blue kit of Chon Buri FC, uh, which is Warachit, will be attacking. So let's see who will be going into the next sem the next round of semi final, and who will unfortunately will be going home. Oh, beautiful true ball for Chon Buri FC. Lays it central. However, Lam Ti Pong was able to pick up the loose ball, Matt. Yeah, and here comes Ho Chi Minh City FC on the uh, attack so far. Trying to build up the momentum from the back. That's a through ball. And this could be it for Lam Ti Pong. And what a goal for Ho Chi Minh City FC. First shot, first goal. And boy, they are back in their best, especially even in the start of the entire uh, match so far, please. Oh, we look how the ball was sent from right, right to left, and from the left, skips past, beautiful nutmeg, first time shot, in between the left channel, and it was all over before it begins, because of the positioning, look at that beautiful, beautiful nutmeg, in between the legs, the centre back did not fall back, or should I say track back as quickly as needed, and we see Ho Chi Minh City FC, Fire their player, which is Lam uh, Ti Pong, was able to get the first goal. The red battleship is sailing very, very cruisely on the ocean, man. Yeah, they've been superbly alive, especially in the uh, very early stage of the match. But let's see how it's going to be the response from uh, John Buri FC. Warachid is yet to show what he has got so far. And for now, the ball is going to be with the legs of Ho Chi Minh City FC players. We see what they have again. Maybe they might go for another goal. As we only underway in a very short of, uh, minute of time, actually. And for now, we see John Buri FC trying to get it through. But then Ho Chi Minh City FC players are trying to close the entire attack down again. And they're trying to break the defense of John Buri FC for, for, for far. And this time, another big chance. And that is gone begging again. Yep, it was a good effort over the top of the defensive line. However, uh, the ball was a little bit too fast and his striker player could not get in the most optimum position to receive the over-the-top pass. Thus, why the ball does go out of play. As we see Chon Buri FC try to put the ball into the most dangerous of area. But we see that the striker was a little bit sleeping on duty thus the ball could not go through 14 minutes has elapsed it's still 1-0 going in favor of team ho chi minh city as we see our player lam ti pong the winger age 25 is trying to attack but the attack does broke down man oh no that's a big chance for john Bri fc there and uh, Voracic was just right there to get the equalizer there face but then well saved by the uh, goalkeeper for now. Let's see if he's able to turn things around. Warachit needs to get the equalizer. On the other side, we see Lam Ti Pong is trying to add another goal. And here comes down the uh, right side of the wing again. Makes the cross in sight. But well, well defended again. But it's not over yet for Ho Chi Minh City FC. Tries to block there. Beautiful block. Not leaving a little bit of a chance to get the touch of the ball for now. Lam Ti Pong. And we see a shot from him, loses possession there, but it's not over yet. Intercepted again, comes inside the box again. Here is Lam Ti Pong! Oh, hits the post. And Ho Chi Minh City FC nearly got the second goal there, Decipher. Yep, almost got the second goal and doing what a winger does. Sends the ball quickly, a very, very fast cross into the penalty area. But the shot, I would say, it was fast, it was dangerous. However, the ball actually swerved away. 
uh, from uh, the goal. Now we see Chonburi FC. Let's see what Warachit can do in trying to pull one back. However, it did not go through. The ball was lost in the final third. Thus, we see Ho Chi Minh City attacking. Not much in numbers, but however, still can. Maybe one try. Sends it central to oblivion because it was not to Ho Chi Minh City players in red, but it was to the opponent, which is wearing blue, man. Oh, yeah. That's a big, big chance gone. Begging again there. The cipher, but he's going to come again. The uh, 25 years old winger is what uh, the cipher mentioned on earlier. And if you look there, he actually scored three goals in 16 appearance for Ho Chi Minh City FC since uh, 2020. Let's see if he wants to add more in the virtual world for now. And here's Lamti Pong again. Phil Lamti Pong just could not get it through. He got the ball back again. That's a left foot shot. Not on target, but credit goes for the effort there, the cipher. Look at that. He was closed down by three defenders. But he still managed to pull the shot. Yep, good effort, good try. However, it was a dangerous moment for Chomburi FC, uh, especially for Warachi to actually do uh, a defense which is, even though it's high in pressure, but he almost left his uh, his backline a bit exposed. He might want to reconsider and a little bit be careful in his pressing and also his defensive duties. Now we see the ball is with Chonburi. Warachit trying to put into the back of the net. He does fly one to the back of the net. He does get one back. 35 minutes has gone. One, one goal scored by Chonburi FC. 35 minutes, we are back at level pegging. And wow, that was a smooth goal idea. Yeah, he just came in there. He saw the opportunity, he saw the space, and he made the short count. And it's 1-1 for now. And we look again, look at that, through the middle again. All the space, players running up front. The marking gone wrong. And he made the twist, made the shot. And it's 1-1. And I believe um, it's all back spread again there, at the Cypher. Yep. Back to level pegging. Game on. And a defensive error for number 20 of 14. Ho Chi Minh City has left his keeper a little bit exposed. But Matt, this is just the beginning. I can foresee there might be more goals incoming. But in this sense, we see uh, Ho Chi Minh City players, that is Lam Ti Pong, is attacking, possibly trying to get the ball forward. He can't pass it because he's on the offside position. A push and a tussle. The ball does not go out. Still on top of the line and still in possession of Team Ho Chi Minh City FC. However, this time around, he got sandwiched. Change around in play. And we are seeing football at its finest when you are transitioning the ball from forward to defending and now the ball is still with team Ho Chi Minh City and I believe the ball does enter the penalty area only to find a Chonburi FC defender yeah we are nearing stoppage time there maybe Chonburi FC might add another one Voracit on the ball Phil Voracit can we see something special from him but the uh, defense yeah, gave him no chance there no way to go for the player and I believe it is still 1-1 nothing has changed so far as we are nearly there for the uh, stoppage time intercepted again and I believe there's only one minute left on the clock and that is the end of the first half 1-1 between Chonburi FC, Morachit and also Lam Pong of Ho Chi Minh City FC and right now we are underway for the second half of the match well, I mean I don't know about you man but even though we see uh, the player from Chonburi FC Warachit is wearing a mask while playing I, I have a gut feeling that he's literally laughing and smiling throughout the game because he knows that when sometimes he attacks he missed past the ball and sometimes <laughs> when he's defending he just gives the ball away to the opponent so cheaply but all smiles and fun but right now we need a winner and somebody might go home right yeah this is the interesting part that is i've heard the players are enjoying this and um what, what a moment for an actual footballer to be in the virtual pitch trying to test himself out against another professional footballer and uh, right now we see john briafsi and that is going to be a free kick for Voracic. the uh, referee says there no negotiations I just want want this to be uh, done smooth and uh safely there no one's getting hurt for now, it's going to be a big moment for uh, Lam Tipong. 
Will we see Lam Fong scores this for Ho Chi Minh City FC? John Burry under a big pressure. Can we see Lam Fong? And that is well saved by the goalkeeper. Keeping it all bay for now. It's going to be a corner now. Let's see if he's able to get another one from this corner. He failed from the set piece. Goalkeeper comes out, makes the punch. Well, that was a quick one from the goalkeeper. He saw the attack. And for now, the pass is a little bit sloppy. But it's not over for now for Ho Chi Minh City FC. Keeps it bay. But boy, this time we see it's a turnover for John Buri FC. No, I take it back, Matt. Possibly, maybe. No, he won't. Because the tackle was so, so strong. Uh, I believe he's going to be a, a foul. Is of course. Free kick is of course. But the only concern is, is there going to be a card? I don't think so. But, you know, I was actually like smiling just now because of that one hand slap punch of yep. the keeper just now. So, so powerful. Showing his authority in the penalty area to clear the ball out of danger. However, we see now Ho Chi Minh City is attacking, looking for the option. However, as he tries to do the final third, uh, final turn, sorry, it just did not go to plan. But lucky, they still have the ball, if I could say so myself. We are now changing possession like no one's business. Matt. Yeah, what a cheat for now. Makes the pass inside the box. Oh, that is, uh, let's see, that's a very poor cross that straight to the hands of the goalkeeper. Or shall I say, uh, he tried there, but it's just not working well for the uh, 24 years old. Uh, attacking central midfielder Warachit for now Lam Ti Pong on the ball one to pass again here is Lam Ti Pong oh I believe that's a finesse shot there this Ipa tried but it was way way off target there that was literally in my point of view uh, a should have been a, at least a shot on target but it just flies so wide uh, I believe that the keeper was like, whew, lucky that didn't go into the back of the net. Now we see John Buri FC. What can Warachit do right now on the left flank? He floats one into the penalty area. Nope, that is not going to happen because your players is already out of position to head the ball, thus giving avenue for team uh, Ho Chi Minh City FC attacking. It's a 3v3. Now it's going to be 3v4, 3v5. Turns it around. A slot, a chance for a goal. Last oh! It hits the upright for crying out loud. That should have been a goal, man. Oh, that should be going in there, Decipher. Man, he just... Ah, oh, that's a big chance gone back again, but never mind. But now we see Lam Ti Pong still holding on there. Trying to keep the possession away, but just, just made a mistake, but recovered pretty quickly there. He scored 16 goals for Vietnam national team under 19 back in 2014. And also 2015, the season there. And right now, he's trying to get the second goal in for his team. And here he comes again in the middle. Makes the pass. Quick one there into the middle again. Maybe try to break down the defense. Try to pull the defenders away, but it's not working so far. A one-through ball could be a deadly factor for uh, a big chance for John Brie for now. But, 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 but what's going on? Oh, man. I thought that was a safe moment that is I really thought that was a safe moment but I have no clue how the chemistry went from 100 to negative zero between the goalkeeper and the defender real quick I mean, I mean if that went in man I'll be scratching my head as that what in God's name happened it was a panicky moment it was a panic in the penalty area almost like a panic in a disco situation however uh, we see uh, these two players are playing it I know they are dead serious, but they are playing it calm and steady. But however, we see a long ball for Team Ho Chi Minh City FC in the reds. We should say the red battleship is sailing, is attacking with the big cannons, with the big guns. Can they do it? Can they add one more goal? Try to go past the defender. However, it's a push of a tussle. Referee says it's going to be a free kick. Uh, possibly, Matt, we might be going into extra time if it doesn't go. Oh man, I, I literally asked for extra time in the uh, previous uh, match day, but now I guess solving a little bit of a, a tricky thing going on. We have been going into extra times quite often for now. And let's see what are the stakes so far as the ball is with the likes of the Ho Chi Minh City player. Oh, I, I really thought the uh, referee is going to play the advantage there, Decipher. Because Ho Chi Minh City players were just right in front to receive the ball. 
but then maybe referee pulls it back saying that that's a harsh touch uh, tackle there but never mind we are less than four minutes away from stoppage time and we'll be going into the extra time real real quick a early cross comes in for uh Chomburi fc but it's not working well so far and as what you say that is either we might be going into extra time i mean i mean looking at this i mean to be honest this is an interesting game it's fun it's entertaining look i mean even we can see warachit is like smiling i know he's smiling and laughing under that mask but we see it's a fun game and i bet all of you watching are enjoying it because right now we are going into extra time it's still 1-1 but will there be more goals in extra time who knows maybe one goal maybe two goals maybe we go to penalty please don't go to penalty yeah. man that is one thing that i really really don't want to go <laughs> uh penalties always breaks many people's hearts across the world but man it is what it is but so far let's see a quick start from uh Chombri fc trying to uh get the goal earlier on but it's not working trying to penetrate through the defense but uh the defender read that movement pretty quickly there trying it to keep all calm for now but right now lanti pong trying to make something out of this inside the box now Oakland City players are just lining up for a shot, but not uh, in the uh, best position to receive the pass for now. And things can change for now. And that's a good pass for John Bury Warachit. Can we see something great from this position? Makes the tip. Warachit! Woo! And John Bury FC gets the second goal in. And they are well, well in front for now. What a goal that is, Cypher what a goal indeed what a vision what strategy planning was put into motion 2-1 97 minutes we look again the long pass goes through into the penalty area two defenders following taps it central over the top and the number nine with an easy finish to the far post to the left side of the post good goal indeed a nice vision and I would say that is absolutely smooth like hot knife through butter. But right now, man, <laughs> right now oh, yeah. we cannot discount Ho Chi Minh City because Lam Ti Pong can actually, uh, how do I say, has the idea to break through. But somehow he's just not lucky in my book. As we can see, the ball does go through. It's open wide. It opens wide. It flies. To the back of the net. No, it actually went up. Man. Yeah, that's another big jump. Gone bagging for... Lam Ti Pong, the uh, man who scored the 16 goals this time, misfiring in front of goals, especially for his team for, uh, so far, Ho Chi Minh City FC. And on the other side, for now, Warachit of Tonbury FC are basically leading the match. We know he was the uh, captain of the national team back in the under 19 Thailand team. And for now, it's a big moment for Warachit to defend, oh, but it was an offside there. The all of us caught off guard there. Yep, I think that was a clear one to me because uh, I saw the ref, uh, not the referee, actually the the last man actually did an offside trap running forward. So leaving the the striker all alone, it was just clear as day it was an offside. Uh, but Matt, as you mentioned, anything can happen in this extra time. Another goal for Team Ho Chi Minh City is enough to break the hearts of many. Oh, can it go through? It does tussle. It does hustle. However, the ball is still in retention, in possession of Team Ho Chi Minh City. Now attacking slow and steady, smooth is fast, fast is smooth. Going into the penalty area, not offside! Uh, I take it back. Oh, he was offside by a mile away, man. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really quick there, Fizz. We uh, totally understand that moment, but never mind. That is the uh, first half of extra time. We will be going into the uh, second half of extra time between Tonbury FC and also Ho Chi Minh City FC as Borachit is basically leading the match leaving Lam Ti Pong for now in the uh, not the best ideal position actually but things can change again as I say I always like to say and right now the ball is with the likes of the uh, blue jersey players which is known as Tonbury FC they turn away and this time the ball lands in the legs of uh, Ho Chi Minh City FC players Lam Ti Pong in the search for the second goal will he get it or it's going to be uh in, it's, it's going to be into the hands of warachit for now makes the pass in could not make it through and warachit still have his defending his lead for now 
Yep, he is defending for his life because he knows that he does not want to concede a goal at the most awkward moment. Won't well, maybe a chance for the red battleship. Tried to equalize, could not go through, thus giving the ball away. I believe Warachi is running, running in numbers, running with maximum speed. He sends it forward. It's going to be 2v1. It's going to be 4v1. However, the sliding tackle was inch laser blade perfect, thus giving the ball away for team uh, Ho Chi Minh City FC. Now La Lam Ti Pong. Uh, just got sandwiched, loses position in the most awkwardest position. Keeper does have to run out and if the keeper did not get that one right, I think the keeper is in big, big trouble. Oh, he, <laughs> he might regret that decision of his, but for now, see, uh, Ton Buryev, say Voracic, trying to get something out of this. We know he won the match early on with the, uh, basically, years, uh, years back then. They won the gold medal in 2017 Southeast Asian Games. And right now, he gets another win. And let's see if he's able to hold on to that. So the total goal, I believe it was 2-1 to one going in favor of John Buri FC. Yes, sir? Yep. Actually, that was close, man. That was close. Yeah, that was close. Especially Lam Tipong had the uh, big chance to turn things around of his. But maybe he just went a little bit. Onto the left foot, maybe it might be his uh, weaker side of the foot. He makes the shot, and it was so wide. And uh, oh, this is a sensational goal! What a pass and what a shot! Straight, and the goalkeeper has no chance. Look at that of his. Look at that, another one. And I believe uh, this is the moment. <laughs> Did you see oh, how man. the ball one swerved one. out? <laughs> yeah, especially when you're one in one and things happens like that. That is really, really. A stressing moment, and this one again hits the post by Lam Ti Pong, and uh, I believe this was the equalizer supposedly. Yeah, it, it should have been there. It's like it should have been, but uh, it's a shame it did not happen. And I believe this was the chance. He makes the turn. He has a very unique uh, space to make the shot, but it just went offside. Mm, I totally agree. And this one, a beautiful one. I think it was a right foot stab or right foot jab, if you want to call it, uh, for Team Chonburi FC, Warachit uh, Kanitsri Bampen. Right now, is leading uh, the game, or should I say leading the set with 1-0. Uh, but overall, it's a fun game. However, the chances, if you want to count, which is on target, is actually more to Ho Chi Minh City compared to Chonburi. But Chonburi was saved by a lot of chances, a lot of pulls, a lot of wide shots, and they were just not sharp enough in the front line. But anything can happen in the second game, Matt. Yes, and I believe uh, both of the players has the capabilities to turn things around. We see one of the best uh, defending sides, especially from Chonburi FC. And uh, Lam Tipo has lots of chances to uh, get the game going for high scoring match of his but then uh maybe the scoring boots was not on his side maybe uh he does not want to add more than 16 goals which he scored for his national team in the uh, virtual pitch maybe he needs a little bit of a more of a uh, composure right in front of goals but he will come again strong he has the chance he has the capabilities the potential and uh i believe he can turn things around but for now he needs to get the tactics right Yep, get the tactics right, get the strategy. And I believe we are already repeating uh, the the replays because this has been shown just now. Here's the upright. Uh, but guys, we are getting ready as soon as possible into the second game. Uh, as soon as possible, as once the players are ready. So there you go. 2-1, two to one, Chonburi 2, while Ho Chi Minh City FC 1. Don't go anywhere, guys. We are waiting for the green light to go, but Matt, we need to remind them again about our lucky draw. Let's see, admin, show the lucky draw post before we go into our second game while the players are getting ready. Ah, oh Matt, boy, tell oh them what to go. do Here for our go. lucky draw. Yeah, this is how you ha you stand a big chance to win the uh, signed Perse Bandung jersey. All you need to do is like and follow uh, Champions eFootball on Facebook, Instagram, and also YouTube. Tag three of your friends in the comment section of the giveaway post and most importantly the last step share their giveaway post on your facebook or instagram with the hashtag champions a football and boy you have a big chance to win a signed premium jersey from uh per se bandung 
Yep, absolutely stunning. Oh, Matt. Matt, I just got word from uh, our admin on duty uh, that the players are ready. They've already reset the game. I'm ready. And I hope you guys are ready. Matt, are you ready for the game? I'm born ready, man. All right. So let's go into the second game between Chonburi FC going up against Ho Chi Minh City right now. The players are loading into the game. Can the shock bite the red battleship? Hey, Matt, did you notice that both of them, the logos are all from the ocean? One is a battleship and one is a shark. No, it's a marine battle. You want to say it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's see. Can the shark bite the ship? Or can the ship blow the shark out of the waters? Wow. Yeah, let's see <laughs> what's going to happen. Although, of course, uh, if you look at the uh, size of the shark and also the battleship, this must be a Megalodon shark, my man. So, of course, it's going to see. Uh, it's going to put through a lot of things so far. But this is the match between Chonburi FC and also Ho Chi Minh City FC. Lam Ti Pong of Ho Chi Minh City FC going up against Warachi Kanich Rebamon of uh, Chonburi FC. Earlier on, we see uh, Warachi gets the win, but maybe in the second match, it might be the other way. Let's have a look and see what's going to happen. It's a good start by uh, uh, Warachi there. It's not working so far. The first attack came to nothing, that is Ivan. Yep, for me, for Lam Ti Fong, he just needs to calm down. Just attack slowly, attack calmly. Because he has the idea, Matt. However, uh, because of his aggressiveness, try to make a skill move, try to break into pace, he tends to do some small, small mistake. If he can play like how he played in the first 15 minutes, uh, I think he can make a difference. Now look at this. Calm attacking, looking for option. He does find on the left flank. He waits for members to come in. He waits for more of his friends to come forward. But this time around, could not go through because the defense life of Chonburi FC was quicker, man. Yeah, he tries to break down the defenses. Early on, what he said, that is Cypher. And uh, right now, we see Chonburi FC. Oh, he almost went down. Still keeping the ball on the ground strongly there. Let's see, Warachit is able to turn things around. Still Warachit there. And the pass is not finding the proper man. And right now, we see Lam Ti Pong of Ho Chi Minh City FC on the attack. Trying to uh, find a little bit of space there. He has the space. He has the options to make the pass again. The quick passes can, oh, can do a lot of damage. But, but, but that had a little bit of a deflection. And uh, it's a breathing moment for uh, Chompuri FC that oh, it's not a breathing moment yet that is either it's game on again I guess uh, Ho Chi Minh City FC are trying to find the first goal for now makes the pass Lam Ti Pong in and inside the box again still will we see Ho Chi Minh City FC back to Lam Ti Pong and the pass and the connection was well blocked by three defenders yep that was a good attacking movement that's what I'm saying about Lam Ti Pong from team Ho Chi Minh City he if he can keep himself calm i believe he has a chance to break the defense life of chonburi but chonburi fc's player which is warachit right now uh even though he sometimes plays a bit panic but his panic attack panic defense can be very very efficient because just now he just literally pressed sliding tackle he was like i need to just slide and see what happened it works out but if he plays so aggressive in the penalty area for warachit uh, if he goes too close, it might be a penalty if he goes to the ground with a sliding tackle, man. Yeah, something he really needs to be careful that is I can right now. You see, uh, he tries to make the pass and try to make the run again. We have seen this many times, even in real life football, pass and make the run inside. But it's just not working well. It was well blocked by the uh, Tom Bury FC defenders. And that's a good ball towards the left. Makes the pass inside. Warachit comes in, but the goalkeeper rushes into the scene and gets the ball real real quick and off we go again with Ho Chi Minh City FC on the attack the likes of uh, Lam Ti Pong there number 10 trying to uh, squeeze the ball in trying to find the other player trying to receive the ball gets the possession on control again and loses possession again this time but the ball still mm -hmm. comes back to the Ho Chi Minh City players one two again you see that very Will we see something spectacular with this build-up momentum that is going so well for Ho Chi Minh City FC? But I take it back, that is Haifa. Nope, oh. you take it back and the ball just shifting from like, a, like a ping pong, playing it fast on the table. But exactly, man, that's the thing. Uh, again, going back to what I said, uh, for Ho Chi Minh City, he just needs to be a little bit more calmed down. 
But for Team Warachit, for Team Chonburi FC, even though in panic, he must be careful because he might find opening. He might find spaces in between the cracks for him to do maybe a through ball, maybe a lofted pass, a lob pass, or possibly just walk in between the line with a nice header and a back pass. That was a good effort by Chonburi FC. Try to add one into the back of the net. However, the float goes into the penalty area a little bit too slow for the outfield player to chase it. That's the thing. In the midst of panic, if he is composed enough, he may get a goal for Team Chomburi FC Man. Oh, that's a really deadly header there, Decipher. If it wasn't for the defender to stand in between the, uh, the post there, I guess that is definitely going in. But right now we see Ho Chi Minh City FC. On the ball again towards the left side of the flanks keeps the passes clean and tidy there there's few players waiting to receive the ball can this be the moment for Lamti oh. what a goal for Ho Chi Minh City FC sensational is the word and that came before five minutes before stoppage time and boy what a tip the composure that he needed in front of goals and that shows why he scored 16 goals for Vietnam national team under 19 back in 2014 and 15. What a goal again, Decipher. Exactly, again and again, as I mentioned, for Team Ho Chi Minh City, for Lam Ti Pong, he doesn't need to go panic. He just needs to calm down, hold his horses for a moment, just take a step back and attack when the time is right. Because... Uh, Warachit right now, in my point of view, he loves to play a panicky game. He loves to play a fast game where you unsettle, make the opponent like guessing. Oh, where am I going? What am I doing? Where is he going? Ah, oh, look at this. That is instantaneous response. Almost the back of the net. However, it was a little bit too soft like jelly and butter. And that could have been an equalizer goal for Team Chomburi FC. Warachit is like literally smiling. He should have put that in the back of the net. However, we see now. Could it be and one more? Another one into the back of the net for Ho Chi Minh City. No, it ain't going through. Because the ball is out for a corner kick, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be the last corner kick before we go into the second half. Lanti Pong waits inside. And is out by the goalkeeper, but it's not ended there yet. What the save again? Oh, the defender almost made a mistake, but well, well defended. And that ends 1-0 into the stoppage time. And we'll roll again into the second half. Look at that decipher. Two shots and two goals. How incredible is that for Ho Chi Minh City FC? Marvellous. That's all I can say. It's marvellous. Oh, that's a sliding tackle. That was a bit dangerous. Uh, for <laughs> Team Ho Chi Minh City wearing the red, the red battleship has shot first. The cannon has been fired. It hits the shark, but can the shark comes back from behind the ball does float oh, what no. is going on it's a penalty how i don't know it's a yellow card to the referee it seems like the referee decides to go jumping jack on the opponent he bent oh, he didn't hit so but he up. slides the, the player into the back of the net it's going to be a free goal possibly can he makes it count number nine warachit Golasso. nice one equalized on the 47 minute ah face a big mistake a very big mistake by alam tipong that is not what he actually wanted there and we play a little bit of a golfer now oh good one that's a good but one where's the ball <laughs> <laughs> we can only imagine for now back to hogwarts again but never mind but what a goal that was yeah it's one one for now and boy i guess we are all back square again and uh that's a costly mistake, especially from a goalkeeper of his. He shouldn't have done it that. Maybe he should have just be a little bit more composed. But right now, if you look clearly there, Lam Tipong is more composed in front of goals, but not on the defense. But for now, things can change again. Well defended this time. Ah, look at that. He's composed on attack, but not uh, composed enough when it comes to uh, defending. Well, oh, no. Oh, no. Man, did you see what the keeper did just now? Oh man, reminded me of uh, volleyball actually, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, because right, he dived go. into no one. Yeah, he made the punch again in the main. That's the main factor there, but never mind. 
Here he comes again. John Buri FC makes the forward pass. The attacker has the pace. But right now it is well, well controlled again by Ho Chi Minh City FC, the decipher. Yep, so now we see Ho Chi Minh City try to drag one back, try to fire its cannons, try to set sail on four cylinders. However, did not go through uh, because the ball was well cleared away. However, he managed to get one back. Not really because the pass going central was intercepted by the Sharks. A long ball to the left flank. That is Warachit. Warachit needs some support. He does not get it. Thus, giving the ball back to Lam Thi Po with a beautiful drive to the center. Ball roll. Golasso! Nice one. Nice one. However you want to say it, you say it out loud. It was a beautiful move by our player from Team Ho Chi Minh City. Lam Thi Po with a dangerous, dangerous through ball pass. The ball went to the back of the net. Look at this again. From the back, goes forward. Where's the defenders? The shot went swimming. The cannon shot has been fired. It goes kaboom to the back of the net. Ah, uh, my biggest question right now is the centre back there. The, the, the pairing of the centre back, especially one of the centre backs, is going too up. Actually, the high line played a big, big problem for Chomburi FC. That is Ifa, and we see the through ball coming from the midfielder. He saw the moment. He saw the space. He saw where the defender was and his teammate running up front freely and that's what you get when you play a super high line especially in the defense and right now let's see how Horacid is able to uh, make the response from this after Lam Tipong makes the goal and for now he is leading on the uh, 63rd minute let's see if things can change again as we see Lam Tipong uh, loses possession there for now but that's gonna be a fall and that's going to be straight for Chumburi FC. Ah, yep. Just had a little bit of a, a kick there, a small touch of a kick that has uh, resulted for a free kick. Taking it really shortly there. Can we see a goal from Chumburi FC? Varachi lines one in. That should be going in, but the header was way wide, way up and high. And another chance gone begging again for Chumburi FC. Yep, good effort. I would say good effort by the Sharks uh, for actually taking the set piece well. However, as you mentioned, Matt, the ball does fly away a little bit too high and thus are taking a sigh of relief, a little bit of a breather for Team Ho Chi Minh City as Lam Thi Pong right now consolidate his defense, try to find ideas on where to attack, try to sniff out areas where the weakness of the Sharks can be exploited Try to do a quick through ball. However, that could not go through uh, as the defensive line has consolidated. Oh, what is this? What is this run? Beautiful through ball. Sends it over the top. But hey, what was that? A mistake by the defensive line. Might possibly go to the back of the net, but it goes wide. Flies wide. And that's what you call when you are not chilling in the final third. But the defense was atrocious. Oh, no. Should have been punishment. Oh, the defender is just, I'm not sure what he was doing there. Not the best of uh, defensive duties by the centre-back for Ho Chi Minh City FC. Especially when you're leading the match, you need to be a little bit more careful not to concede goals anymore, not to give chances for your opposition player to score. And that is not the best quality of defending I've seen so far. But let's see if he's able to uh, turn things around. Chompuri FC, sliding tackle comes in. Time for redemption there, I believe, in terms of the... Uh, Defensive error we saw on earlier and right now another pass comes in and that's going to be an offside He ran a little too quickly there, but the offside trap worked on the same time as well He pushed him off the offside uh, line the decipher <laughs> Yep, he was close, but a good effort, but well well offside trap played by Chombori FC uh, Which has been played by a Warachit now Warachit on the other hand He was in an offside position two men was in an offside position uh, again, it's the battle of the offside. Sable round right now is now in favor of Ho Chi Minh City uh, FC with 2 to 1. 77 minutes has elapsed. All they need to do is just chill, relax, not do any mistakes, and let the sharks come to them. But at this moment in time, I believe uh, we are now keeping the ball in midfield, Matt. Yeah, they're trying to uh, contain the ball, trying to play 
some uh, possession football there. And right now, you see on the left side again, it's going to be Lam Ti Pong. Had to make the back pass again for Ho Chi Minh City FC. Ah, intercepted again. And this is a little bit of a danger for Ho Chi Minh City FC. Chonburi have all the speed there, but does not has the stamina. Oh, mistake! Yeah. Can that be punished? Goalkeeper rushed to the scene. And a big breathing moment for Lam Ti Pong and also Ho Chi Minh City FC. Oh, face the defense in the second half for Ho Chi Minh City has been a little bit horrible. But they are still holding on to the lead they have so far. Yep, that was a mistake that ought to be punished. As we can see, a shot, a sable round. But it was a bit wild. But that mistake uh, by Warachit just now was a very, very almost become costly. But this attack by the Red Battleship, the sable round was let loose. But it was a bit too powerful, a little bit too wide. We still have a little bit of time for team chonburi fc to actually claw one back four minutes is not a short time four minutes you can still have one goal as we refer to the previous goal however time is goal time is a commodity that these two players do not have with two minutes left matt i believe this game might be done and dusted yeah it feels like that where well, please on the other side we see uh ho chi minh city fc fans are basically hoping that uh, they might take the win on the third game. Let's see if that happens. So now we see the ball is with the likes of Lam Ti Pong. Oh, breaks free. This is the moment for Lam Ti Pong. Oh, no. He just went down there. He could not get there in time. Ah, big, big chance to get that third goal and same checkmate once and for all. But right now, it's John Briefse. Oh! And how did that game? From where? What a chit! Whoo! The number nine! And that's a goal that breaks the heart of Ho Chi Minh City FC fans, the player, the manager, the owner, whoever you want to say it for now. They were just so close to win the match, Office. It's not oh over. My. It's not over, but look at this good pass. And a very, very Joga Bonito, if you want to mention it. Beautiful football. The opponent, or should I say, uh, Team Ho Chi Minh City tries to do the same thing. But however, the pass was actually a little bit too far away. Thus, it counter-attack very, very well. At this moment in time, I believe we might go into extra time because referee does blow the whistle. This is absolutely insane, man. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, what do I think of it? <laughs> I'm going bonkers actually, but never mind. Because <laughs> the game has been so entertaining, so amazing. The level of football that they have put, uh, put through so far has been absolutely fascinating. A Lamti Pong here. Turn things around, but then uh, it was well defended again. It's going to be a corner for now. And let's see if he's able to score from this corner now. Takes it inside. And it was well headed away. And the ball is with the likes of Ho Chi Minh City, the uh, Chonburi FC players. Oh, what a through ball. Ooh. What a through ball. Could this be the moment? Calm and composed. And right now, Walachit is the man to score so far. And it seems like it is the player that won the gold medal back in 2017. Southeast Asian Games it is going to turn things around. Going to take it all the way home, perhaps. And I believe that one pass reminds me of Cesc Fabregas' office. Oh, I man, you know what I feel right now? For the fans of Ho Chi Minh City, they knew that the game was theirs for the taking. They knew that they are going to win that game. However, because of a one, one pass that went so wrong and it went downhill, thus giving way to Warachit from who, uh, from Chonburi FC to actually equalize in the final moment but Matt we are in the final or should I say in extra time anything can happen possibly an equalizer he does try to equalize however the first touch was a little bit too heavy but yep uh, Matt that does remind me of Satisfied Brigas back then but what a possible game this is Matt yeah, I mean, this game is so wide up, it's wide open, anything can happen. Lam Ti Pong now, it's on for Lam Ti Pong, and Lam Ti Pong makes the shot. 
but well saved by the goalkeeper this time. He had to make the forward pass again. And Lamti Pong gets the ball back, but Warachit gives it a little bit of a battle there. And uh, the ball he tries to go for the white left. And it's not working. It's going to go for a throw-in. Throw-in for now. As we are nearing the uh, stoppage time of the extra time for now. And uh, intercepted again. Ball is intercepted. And here comes Tom Buri FC. Maybe one last time before the stoppage time. That's going to be a fall there, Decipher. What do you think about mm -hmm. the fall? Uh, it was a bit soft. Uh, in a sense that it was just uh, the guy rushed into the player. But it was still... A foul is a foul given by the referee. A chance possibly to add more salt to wound for the Sharks. The Sharks is already leading 3-2 to two after making a, an incredible comeback in this game. Takes it short, pass it back. Do not want to do anything silly in my book. Do not want to do anything funny in my point of view. Just like that, the ball has changed possession. And it's going to be a end of first half of extra time. Wow, something needs to be done for Team Ho Chi Minh City, man. Yeah, they are right, right now trailing with one goal there, face, and the uh, next goal can change the entire complexity of the game. And especially if John Buri FC scores, then it's pretty much I can say it's over. But never mind, not over till it's finally over. It's going to be an offside there, uh, offside call by the referee. It's going to be a big chance for Lam Ti Pong to turn things around from now, get the ball. Hold on to possession, not to lose the ball cheaply. Try to play some uh, attractive football. Try to bait the defenders away and uh, try to create more goal-scoring opportunities. But that's not what I was talking about. And uh, right now we see John FC trying to get the ball again. And this time we see Warachit on the ball. Switches across onto the uh, right side of the flanks. And here comes a big, big chance. Oh, what a cheat. He has the opportunity to make the cross, but then he knew there was not much of a player inside the box to uh, uh, get that goal going inside again. Chips it in, and that's going to be an offside call again. Yep, it's offside. Spotted by the linesman. Lucky for Team um, Thailand, uh, or should I say Team Chomburi FC. Oh, forgive me, it wasn't Chomburi FC, it was Ho Chi Minh City. Forgive me uh, for the offside trap. And now we see what can Lam Tipong do. He needs to calm down. He has the potential to get the goal. He has the gameplay to actually break down the opponent's defense. What he needs to do is just to be calm down, be a little bit composed. Nice sliding oh. tackle by Warachip. And the ball does go upfield with only four minutes left on the clock. Maybe to add one more professional foul, says the referee. No, no foul. Plays on and possibly a chance for the red battleship maybe to land some sable rounds maybe to land some shot maybe to get one goal equalizer sable round loaded into the cannon possibly to call it a shot but no coordinates in in for the shot and i think we might end the game right now man referee does not uh, give any more additional extra time it's gonna be it this oh, is gonna no. be it john bully the shark is gonna bite the battleship the battleship is slowly sinking to the bottom of the ocean maybe to add one more oh, possibly not so Still in possession of Warachit. Makes a, a stunning comeback. Could this be the end? I think it is the end. 3-2 man going in favor of John Buri FC. Oh, what a match. Absolutely stunning of a match in my eye. The comeback, the goals after goals we saw. And I believe it is all taken absolutely well by both of the players of his. Yep. And again, another comeback. For team uh, Chonburi FC, uh, almost the same like the elite where uh, Ananichi actually made a comeback against Naga World, man. Yeah, that's football of his. Things like this are pretty similar. And this was the uh, one of the uh, biggest mistakes to give away a penalty, especially uh, for Warachidi. He was basically looking for the first goal, the, uh, the X factor for him to uh, kickstart. He's a change of momentum in this game. And that happened from that penalty, actually. Yeah, everything turns around. But, oh, this is a nice roll. A nice roll by Lam Ti Pong. Actually was able to break the defensive line. That's the thing, man. Um, this guy from Team Ho Chi Minh City, Lam Ti Pong, he has the composure. He has the idea. However, it's just not going to plan because of the fact that his opponent, which is uh, Warachit 
Kanit Sri Bampen is good in playing panic strategy, man. Yeah, he's been absolutely amazing. Look at that. Oh, another chance. Just made the blast there, but it was not on target there. And uh, right now, this is another big, big chance. And that is another uh, shot gone begging again. This Ifa hits the woodwork, if I'm not mistaken there. A slight touch of the goalkeeper, especially. And um, it's a well-deserved win so far for Chonburi FC. In my eye. Oh, this, the equalizer. Yeah. Aye. This equalizer broke the heart of all of the fans at Ho Chi Minh City uh, FC. Because, Matt, they knew that they can go into the third game. They knew that the game is in their hand. However, Matt, however, it just did not go to plan. This is the goal. Uh, I believe that equalizes uh, a little bit of a roll, a little bit of a wiggle, and a right foot shot to the back of the net. And I would oh. say, for me, in my point of view, Matt, it was a good game between these two players. I mean, I, I literally love this game. Uh, because it was so much fun, Matt. Yeah, it is obvious. I mean, especially coming from the point of view where these were actual football players are playing this match. And remember, guys, this is basically the star match where the actual football players that are representing each team are basically uh, down to uh, the virtual pitch to show their entire talent and their potential in the virtual world. But, man, they did absolutely well. And this is one of the best things so far, Abyss. Actual footballers coming in, showing the best that they can and on the virtual page trying to play their idea of football that they actually learned from the uh, actual world so this is the result the final result and i believe it went all the way for john buri fc warachit and i believe